that time in the service where we officially download or install <laughs> Pastor Joyce. So any of our children involved, go ahead and take your places. I know we have a microphone getting ready to go. Yep. Perfect. I invite okay. you all to join me and follow along on the screen. Having been authorized by the church to install the Reverend Joyce Partica Stein, our co-worker in the gospel, right as assistant pastor of youth and family ministry at St. John Lutheran Church, I now ask for certification of this call. After prayer, prayerful deliberation, we of St. John Lutheran Church have called the Reverend Joyce as assistant pastor of youth and family ministries. I present her in this letter certifying the call. Will you preach and teach in accordance with the Holy Scriptures, with the confessions of the Lutheran Church? Will you carry out this ministry in harmony with the constitutions of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America? I will, and I ask God to help me. You have been called among us to minister with children and youth, leading us to be disciples of Jesus Christ. Will you equip and empower us to serve in this congregation and community? I can think of no one better than I could say, I will and I ask God to help me. Will you be vigilant in your study and the Holy Scriptures and your use of the means of grace? Will you love, serve, and pray for God's people, nourish them with the word and sacraments, and lead them by your own example and faithful service and holy living? I will, and I ask God to help me. Will you give faithful witness in the world that God's love may be known, to, known in all you do? I will, and I ask God to help me. Almighty God, who has given you the will to do these things, graciously give you the strength and compassion to perform them. Amen. Amen. People of God, will you receive Pastor Joyce Partica Stein as a messenger of Jesus Christ, sent to serve all people with the gospel of hope and salvation? Will you regard her as a servant of Christ and a steward of the mysteries of God? We will, and we ask God to help us. Will you pray for her? Help and honor her for her work's sake, and in all things, strive to live together in peace and unity of Christ. We will and we ask God to help us. Reverend Joyce Parnica Stein, <laughs> the Office of Assistant Pastor of Youth and Family Ministry is now committed to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Receive the blessing. <clears throat> 
the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make you complete in everything good, so that you may do God's will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in God's sight. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. People of God, I present you the Reverend Joyce Partikista, your assistant pastor of youth and family ministry. Let us welcome her in the name of Christ. We continue now with prayers. Let us pray. With the whole with the whole people of God in Christ Jesus let us pray for the world, the church, and those in need. We pray for the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Empower us to work for justice for the oppressed, to seek and end world hunger and poverty, and to provide ways of healing for those who suffer from emotional, physical, and mental pain. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for Bishop Elizabeth Eaton and the National Churchwide staff and workers in their ministries. Empower them to serve with courage, wisdom, and strength as they guide us into the direction you lead us. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. We pray for the Southeast Michigan Synod, for Bishop Donald Kreese, conferences, and deans, especially the Blue Water Conference. We thank you for their willingness to serve faithful leaders and partners in ministry. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for St. John Lutheran Church, Pastor D and Pastor Joyce, as they work together to reach out to others in need of hearing your word and experiencing your tender love and compassion. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all who are in attendance here today and those on our prayer list. Lord, in your mercy. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for who, whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. Pastor Joyce comes to us as a member of St. Peter's Lutheran Church, St. Clair, Michigan, and desires to transfer her membership into the community of faith, into this community. We welcome you as a member of St. John Lutheran Church to join with us in worshiping God, hearing God's word, and sharing God's supper, proclaiming the good news of God through word and deed, serving all people, and striving for justice and peace in all the earth. We thank you, Lord, for this new member of our congregation by your life-giving power Bind us to each other and to you. Strengthen us in, for service. Support us all our days and bring us the, at length to that day when all your children will be one with you and we will be all in all.
Let us pray. Blessed are you, O God, ruler of heaven and earth. Day by day, you shower us with blessings as you have raised us to new life in Christ. Give us glad and generous hearts, ready to praise you and to respond to those in need. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places offer thanks and praise to you, O Lord, Holy Father, through Christ our Lord, who on this day overcame death in the grave and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Please stand. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated as Pastor D gives us instructions. As they're setting up for um, communion distribution, I just wanted to give a little um, insight so that you know how to come forward. We're asking all of the musicians to come forward for communion first. Um, and then you can take your places, and then we'll start with the folks over on this wing, if you'll come out the, out the aisle and come up the center aisle to receive communion, and then go back up this way, so you're kind of doing an S shape. Then we'll move on to the folks in this section, come up the center aisle, and again around, and then back through, and then folks in this section, come out the center aisle, around, and back to your place, and then the folks here, to the back, and forward, and around. Thank you.
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Pour out upon us the spirit of your love, O Lord, and unite, unite the wills of those whom you have fed with one heavenly food, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. receive the blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and the Son.